Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem of a, a book written by David Zegrupit. The name of book is Introduction to Quantum Mechanics. And this is nothing but problem number 1.3. And this problem is basically uh, all about the Gaussian distribution. So what is given in this problem? In this problem, it is given that rho x is a Gaussian distribution, which is given by a e to the power minus lambda x minus a whole square. So this is distribution and we have to find the value of a. This is a part of the problem. The second part is that we have to calculate the expectation value of x. And then we have to calculate the expectation value of x square as well as sigma square. So this is b part. And the c part is the problem we have to plot basically rho x versus x. So these are the problem. So before going to this problem, let me explain you that we should first revise one particular integration that is basically gamma integral and one form of gamma integral. So before going to this problem, you should just make sure that you know this integration because I will use this thing as a formula. So zero to infinity x to the power n e to the power minus alpha x square dx is nothing, but this will be one by two into one upon alpha to the power n plus one by two. And this is gamma n plus one by two. So this uh, integration you have to remember, or you have to just practice this integration. This is very important integration. So now we will use all this thing into this particular problem. So obviously, if rho x is your probability density, then and obviously x is going from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this is very important. So if rho x is a probability density, then obviously rho x dx and obviously from minus infinity to plus infinity, that should must be equal to one. So this is uh, basically nature of probability density. This is one of the basic uh, property of probability density rho, any type of probability density. So let us try to calculate this thing. So we will take a and we will go from minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus x minus a whole square dx. What I can do, I can just change this thing in term of this integration. So what I will do, I will just put x is equal, sorry, x minus a, x minus a is equal to y. So dx is equal to dy. And obviously y will also go from minus infinity to plus infinity. So this integration will be a time integration of minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus lambda y square dy. And now I can easily use this particular thing and this value is equal to one. So if we are just going to this integration by this formula, so here n is equal to zero and we can just convert this integration into zero to infinity. So this integration can be also written as something like two time a zero to infinity e to the power lambda y square dy must be equal to one because we know this integration is just a even integration. And so why we can take this property. Now this value is basically two into a and n value is zero. So that will be half and then lambda is alpha here we can compare alpha to the lambda, so lambda to the power half and gamma to the power half. So we know that gamma half is equal to one by so root root pi. That will be lambda. Actually, this value value is equal to lambda. So when we will calculate this particular thing, then we can find the value of a is equal to nothing but lambda upon pi to the power one by two. So this is value of a. If this will be value of a, then area under the probability density is equal to one, which means the total probability can be 
measured from minus infinity to plus infinity. So A is the suitable value. Now, next we will go for expectation value of x, x square and sigma square. Now, we have to go for a uh, next uh, question that is question number B. So obviously we have row X and which is, we have suitable value of A and that suitable value of A is Lambda upon pi to the power one by two e to the power minus Lambda X minus A whole square. And obviously X is between minus infinity to plus infinity. Now we have to calculate expectation value of X. So when we are going to calculate expectation value of X and this value is nothing, we have to just go from minus infinity to plus infinity X rho X DX. And now we have this particular value and this value is equal to, we will go from minus infinity to plus infinity. We can take Lambda upon pi one by two and X is also there e to the power minus lambda x minus a whole square dx. Now we can solve this problem without doing integration and using the nature of probability density. So let's see how we are going to solve this problem. Again, what I am going to do, I am just going to put x minus a is equal to y. So what will happen to x? This x is equal to nothing but y plus a. And now this is two part of integration. So we can write Lambda by pi to the power half. And this is Y plus a e to the power minus Lambda Y square dy minus infinity to plus infinity. Now this integration, I can break into two part. So when I am going to break into two part, then we have Lambda upon pi to the power one by two. And this integration is y e to the power minus Lambda y squared dy. That is from minus infinity to plus infinity plus, and we can take a outside and the whole thing Lambda upon pi to the power one by two e to the power minus Lambda y squared dy minus infinity to plus infinity. Now, what will happen to this integration? This is just an odd integral. So this value is equal to zero minus infinity to plus infinity odd integral is zero. And this thing is nothing but the in this thing is nothing but the integration of rho x dx. This will be just a rho x dx type of integration. So this value of integration we have calculated earlier, this value is equal to one. So what will happen to this integration? This integration is zero plus a into one. So that value is one. So average value of X is equal to a. So for this particular distribution function, which is popularly known as Gaussian distribution function, the average value of a is equal to, sorry, average value of X is actually a. Now we will go for expectation value of X square. And also we will go for the value of variance. So we will just do this thing. Now we have to calculate expectation value of X square. We have already calculated there's a expectation value of X or mean value is equal to A. So we have calculated that this value we have calculated as A. Now we will co calculate this one. So expectation value of X square is nothing but integration of minus infinity to plus infinity that is X square and Lambda upon pi to the power one by two e to the power minus lambda x minus a whole square dx. So this thing we have to calculate. So now again, we will play the trick. What is the trick? Trick is very simple. X minus a is equal to y. So dx is equal to dy. And then here is this x can be replaced by. So you can replace x is equal to y plus a. So let's transform whole this thing into new variable that is y and this value is equal to obviously from minus infinity to plus infinity y plus a whole square 
and we have lambda by pi to the power half e to the power minus lambda y square dy. Now we have to calculate this thing. We have we will open it and we will break it into three part. Only one part will be we have to calculate. Otherwise everything we know. So first thing is minus infinity to plus infinity y square and that value lambda upon pi I am taking outside and this value e to the power minus lambda y square dy. Second value is equal to lambda square minus infinity to plus infinity and we have lambda upon pi 1 by 2 e to the power minus lambda y square dy and there is cross term a square plus b square plus 2ab so i am just writing 2ab here so 2 time a and here y lambda upon pi to the power 1 by 2 e to the power minus lambda y dy so now what will happen to this integration this integration is very simple and we know if we are going to do this integration this integration is nothing but rho x dx or rho y dy and which will equal to 1 so this integration is 1 what will happen to this integration this is odd integral and when we are talking about odd integral between minus infinity to plus infinity this value is equal to 0 so ultimate challenge is that we have to use this integration so when we are going to use this integration again i have uh, this compatible formula so but this is a even integral so we can write lambda upon pi to the power 1 by 2 so that is 2 into 1 by 2 1 upon lambda to the power 2 plus 1 by 2 and gamma 3 by 2 and next term is a square because this value is equal to basically 1 so now this 2 is cancel out and gamma 3 by 2 is equal to half root pi so if we will calculate this particular thing this particular thing is equal to 1 upon lambda square plus a square so expectation value of x square is equal to 1 upon lambda square plus a square as i am not doing any sorry this value is equal sorry let me check what will this value this is not 1 upon this value is equal to let me check this value so this is uh, let me check so 2 and 2 is cancel so this is lambda to the power 3 by 2 and this is lambda to the power half so root pi root pi is cancelled sorry this value is 1 upon 2 lambda sorry this value is 1 upon 2 lambda so our expectation value of x square so expectation value of x square is equal to 1 upon 2 lambda plus a square now what is variance the variance is sigma square and sigma square is x square minus expectation value of x whole square so expectation value of x square is equal to 1 upon 2 lambda and we have to plus a square minus expectation value of x is a that is a square so this a square a square is cancelled we have 1 upon 2 lambda so this is the value now we can compare this value to the uh, normal gaussian and we can check whether our answer is correct or not so let let us do it uh, in a very simple way now let us check whether our answer is correct or not so what is our gaussian distribution so if you will have a normal distribution rho x and in general gaussian distribution can be written as 1 upon 2 pi sigma square e to the power 1 by 2 x minus mu upon sigma whole square so this is our gaussian distribution so now what is our gaussian distribution this is in a very normal form of gaussian distribution so we have this gaussian distribution rho x is equal to lambda upon pi to the power 1 by 2 e to the power minus half and this will be x minus a sorry this will be 
x lambda into x minus a whole square. Now we can compare the two things in a very nice manner. So mu is nothing but the expectation value of x. And this sigma square is nothing but uh, that is your stand, that is your variance. So, so this sigma square is variance. So when we are comparing these two things, we have expectation value of x is equal to a, which is mean value. And we can compare this particular sigma square and this value is equal to nothing but one upon two lambda. So yes, our answer is absolutely correct. So if we are going to plot this particular rho x versus x, so when we are going to plot rho x versus x, obviously this is our symmetric, symmetric distribution about x is equal to a. So we have symmetric distribution about x is equal to a and this is the best plot we can go for this. Obviously, this is symmetric one. The 50% probability is less than A and 50% probability is greater than A. And this A is nothing but expectation value of X. So it's a very wonderful problem. You can use the property of Gaussian. Otherwise, from the gamma integral, you can easily calculate this particular problem. So you can try with yourself. If you have any query, you can message on our, our YouTube channel. We will discuss in a very nice manner. Thank you.